Hello everyone, it's Artist and Tony, and I wanted to share with you today a new tool I'm using uh, in SketchUp Pro. It's called Diffusion, and it's part of the core now of SketchUp Pro 2023 and beyond, and which is pretty awesome because it's generative AI, and it's really a game changer for me because before to get renderings, well, I basically would never do renderings per se because it's just too time consuming and expensive if you want to buy you know decent software uh, what I would do is in my drawings I would set up these sort of rendering looking perspectives and just enough to show you know what the project how it was going to appear and that sufficed because you know for construction drawings we always just print in black and white but this is a little bit of a game changer because now I can take and send uh, renderings really quickly to the owner, the customer, and let them, you know, look at some ideas. And I don't have to spend hours and hours uh, doing renderings, uh, you know, separately outside of SketchUp. The, the other tool I'm going to be using today is Medique's wall and roof extensions. And these are a game, ch these were a game changer and still are <laughs> for SketchUp. And I know Nathan uh, Nathaniel Wilkerson, the developer of these, he's an engineer and a great programmer, and he's just done an awesome job uh, providing all of these tools. He's got Medique Electrical, Medique Foundation, Medique Project, which deals with the uh, sort of the project information on your drawings, uh, Medique Trust, which is does all your roof th projects, um, Medique Wall, and this just together with these i drew this house uh, probably i don't know a few hours i'll show you how simple uh, it, of a process it is i just took my wall extension i came down let's say get my perspective right here come down come across come out go down <laughs> you know what i mean and I can line up that and then come across. We'll just stop it there for demonstration purposes. And then take the windows, pop them in, center that, center that. There's a there's a door here. There's some windows on the side. You see? So the Medique wall extension does so much for you and it saves a lot of time. I've already done the 2D floor plan, which is here, right? So I would just draw over that. I would take that same that same tool and draw over that. As a matter of fact, I should have just you know shown you how I do that. I take I just take the wall tool and I trace over my floor plan. So after I have gotten all that work done and I've built a roof and the foundation and done some other little detail work like handrails and that kind of stuff, I'll set up these views and then I will go into Diffusion, which again is part of the core of SketchUp Pro now, which is awesome. And you just do your little prompt here, uh, add some uh, siding options and I should say siding and color options for this uh, mid-century modern home and we'll see what that does for us and you just click generate takes a few seconds not very long at all as a matter of fact it's a lot quicker than some of the rendering software that I've used before. So the other thing it does is add lighting and all kinds of things. Let's just go, this one looks pretty cool. That one, that one, this one. We'll add this scene here. That's pretty cool. These are some of the other options that I have drawn out. Let's go back here. Yeah, here's a good example of where it added lighting. And see, this is the thing about your prompt. If we go back, if we go back to our front elevation, and we set up 
um, let's get rid of this for a second, set up a view here. Because the view that you set up right here is the one that it uses when you click on Diffusion. You can see there. Oh, I lost my prompt, didn't I? Had some siding options, including landscaping and lighting to this modern home. See how that works out. It's kind of cool how you can just kind of play around with the prompts. Robots doing its thing. There we go. Let's see. This one's kind of cool. Let's add a scene. You can add a scene. This is the awesome thing too. You can add a scene, which if you're familiar with SketchUp, are, are just saved views, really, is what they are. And because you don't have to save all these options. I got, I was doing this earlier and I had way too many that I had saved. I had to get rid of some of them. Some of them. But you can see here, lighting in the soffit, this lighting under here. This is the kind of effects you can't get uh, normally with SketchUp. Here's one that added the, the siding option. And this is what I was trying to get to for the homeowner, the, the developer I'm building this for. Whether we do horizontal siding on this portion down here and vertical here and how we divide the colors and that sort of thing. You can take a, a spec house and turn it into a semi-custom house. And then, of course, you've got the landscaping here that's added. And it's just awesome. Here are some of the other views that you came up with that I came up with last time I was trying to come up with some options. The ones that have the lighting are really fun. I like that. You can go to my YouTube channel and follow us while we're building this house. This is a real project. And, uh, you know, a lot of the projects you design don't get built, unfortunately. This one is getting built. And it's going to be a cool little house, a semi-custom uh, spec house. And it's just awesome. Okay, so as you can see, the world of AI is going to be changing the drafting and you know design architecture world forever. And it's one of those things where you can say, oh, boo-hoo, and, and you know, poo-poo it. Or you can jump on board, you know, and, and try to figure out how to use these tools to your advantage. Uh, if you don't, you're going to get left behind. <laughs> so anyway, just um, another quick video for uh, Medeek Tools and the new feature of Diffusion. And uh, we will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.